Miracle Sultry Stitcher here on YouTube, and this is my eighth video, I believe. Um, normally this would have already been up in public this morning, um, but I have been at retreat all weekend. So um, I'm very tired. I'm kind of sore, which is ironic considering that the hobby that I am engaged in <laughs> and have been engaged in all weekend is a seated hobby that doesn't require any athleticism. But I am sore and I am tired and I'm sure I look a little dis disheveled. Um, but I had a blast. I'm um, at an absolute best blast. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I'm going to kind of go over things that I brought with me, things that I think will help will be helpful for me in the future for anyone else who's embarking on their first uh, retreat. I'm going to go over the stuff I bought. I'm going to go over the stuff that was given to me, um, my mystery box, my smalls that I received, everything like that. Um, First off, I met two other Flosstubers while I was in YouTube, or YouTube, jeez Louise, two other Flosstubers while I was at retreat. Um, one is Bobo um, Jesse Stitches, and one of them was Sonia S. Both of them are going to be linked in my description. Sonia and me uh, were uh, table mates. Um, she and another uh, table mate, who I, I won't say her name just in case she doesn't want to be on YouTube, I should say it that way. Um, but Sonia and then... Um, one of the other table mates as well saw me as I was getting in line on the first day and like within the first 15 minutes of being <laughs> at the hotel that the, the retreat was at, I was adopted, as they said. Um, so Sonia as a super, super sweet, um, hysterical, we had a blast and, and everyone at my table was just fantastic. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started, I guess. Um, this was a Stitching Sirens retreat here in San Antonio. Um, it started on Thursday, which would be the 20th, um, and then ended today, which is the 22nd. 23rd. This is why I have a watch, y'all. The 23rd. Um, and it was a blast. It was all day, every day. So it started at 9 ish, is when the doors opened, most days, except for the first day and then ended whenever you were done. I am not a night person, um, not at all. And so I was usually gone out of the house at like, or out of the house. I was normally back in the house at like 10.30ish. I think the latest I stayed out was like 10.30 and then got back right before 11 or something like that. Um, which worked out well for me because I didn't stay in the hotel. So I was able to go home and, and not have to, you know, one, I didn't spend the money on a hotel that I didn't need to spend money on. But two, I was able to sleep in my own bed and take a shower in my own shower and do all that kind of good fun junk. Um, it was a blast. Yeah, I had a huge blast. Uh, I don't know. I was just super grateful that I was able to meet people who, like, took me in very quickly. Um, I, I shared a sense of humor with the people at my table. Um, had a lot of fun just kind of getting to know everyone's stitching style. Um, and yeah. Nice to meet other Fostubers as well in person. Yeah, it was just a blast. Um, so kind of go over some of the stuff that I um, brought with me. We'll start there. So what I brought with me, the first day I brought my laptop, which is what I'm filming on now. And I didn't buy it, bring it obviously to film. I was going to watch movies if I got bored or something like that. Um, ended up not even opening it, so it wasn't necessary. Um, so I didn't, didn't bring that the rest of the days. Um, I brought... I have two of these lamps. One of them I think I bought. The other one was free, perhaps. I can't really remember. They're nail lamps. Um, they weren't the worst, but they obviously, are not obviously, but they also weren't the greatest. They're not meant for cross-stitch lamps. Um, they're meant to highlight a desk, not necessarily, like, work. And they, they're, yeah, not able to just kind of, like, like, extend over the edge of a desk really all that well. And, and they also weren't very bright. And so I went ahead and bought some other lamps. I also have like an over, like the neck lamp set that I bought, not set, like something I bought on Amazon once in a, like a while ago. I don't know where it went. I went ahead and bought another one because if nothing else, I'll have two of them. That's better. Um, I bought another like desk lamp as well to bring next time I do stitchy stuff. Um, the stitching retreat is hosted by Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, here in San Antonio, who I've mentioned before, is kind of like my local needle workshop. Um, and I've been trying to get over there to do stitching over the, like, on, you know, in the afternoons or something like that, but I just haven't been able to. Now I'm going to be able to a bit more. I've, I've already kind of set up my schedule to be able to do that. Um, 
so I'm kind of collecting things that I can take with me easily to the shop if I need to. Um, but I've learned this was not the best. I did have two of them. One day I left the second one at home, I think. But I did have two of them. I just, they weren't helpful. They didn't last very long, that kind of thing. Um, so I, I bought something to replace them. I'm glad that I didn't spend the money at first. Um, but I think that was part of the reason why I'm so tired and sore today is because I was leaning forward a lot. Um, I brought two power banks. Both of these came in handy. Um, and both of them actually last pretty long, to be honest. Um, this one needs to be charged again, I guess. Um, this one has a magnetic charger, like a MagSafe charger on the front, so I can use it to charge my cell phone if I need to. And then this one is actually really interesting. So this one has um, a display. And this one, I only ended up recharging last night and I didn't use it at all, but it's 91% charged now. Um, and it didn't charge all the way last night. Um, I think the lowest it got to was like 30 something and it had been charging not even charging, to be honest, I've been running this lamp off of that all day. So, fantastic choice. We'll be using it. The only problem is that it's super heavy. Um, probably weighs about five pounds or something like that. Maybe even more than that. Um, but super helpful. I've, I really enjoyed this. This was very helpful. Ran, ran the lamp off of that pretty much all day. So, like, 12 hours probably. Not quite that long, maybe. Um, but I brought that. I obviously brought my iPad because that's generally what I stitch off anyways. Did most everything off my iPad, which was fine. Um, brought earbuds. Didn't use them a whole bunch, to be honest. Just a couple times here and there when I was getting a little overwhelmed, a little tired, or when the conversation had kind of died down and everyone was bitching. Um, because I was at home, I didn't have to worry too much about it. I did put it in an old like messenger bag, which is across the room. I don't probably go and go get it. Um, I, I will probably buy, well, I, I did that, and I did um, take this craft tote bag my sister got me, which was helpful. This actually did work well. Um, I'll probably use that next time. I just won't bring as many patterns. On the subject of patterns, I brought four patterns. I brought four patterns, um, but only ended up working on one significantly. So this is my Dark Queen of the Sea. By Autumn Lane Stitchery. It was barely started when I went to Stitch or Stitch Con. When I went to the Stitching Science Retreat, um, this is under the sea fabric. This is bewitched in 32 count linen, I believe. Um, I'll show you guys on my floss tube. I got a lot done on it. Um, and got to the point today where I was just my eyes were tired and I was really I had a headache and I just couldn't do the linen anymore. Um, but I worked on this pretty much the entire um stitching retreat which means next time i'll probably only bring one if i'm planning on doing kind of the same thing um this is in one of my simply noel bags i brought my forest fairy tale style which i didn't work on at all i brought my lawn dog which i didn't work on at all which i kind of wish i had because it, it ate out a little bit easier and then i did a tiny bit on my vampire sal I'm a vampire himself. Um, just today when I was getting too like tired, my head hurt too much to do it. Um, ooh, I'm glad I opened this up because I forgot that this was in here. Okay. Um, so that's what I worked on for this for a significant amount of it. This is one of my golden familiars bags. Um, this is one with a quick explorer. I think that's what it's called. Um, so next, next time I'll probably just bring one significant one and maybe an Ida that's easier, an Ada that's easy to see later. Um, hopefully they'll all have better lighting so it's not quite so tiring. Because um, I'm telling you, by the end of those days I was, my eyes were crossing too much. Um, I have a slight astigmatism and I was just getting to the point where my eyes were too fatigued to do anything at all. Um, but again, I didn't, I didn't have to bring significantly amount, a significant amount of stuff. I brought some snacks. I brought some cookies from our HEB. It's a grocery store here in San Antonio, as well as, um, I can't see them really good on the other side, but uh, chili lemon, chili limon, rather, um, tortilla chips. They have uh, tahini on them, or something you can find again in, in HEB. Didn't crack the chips open at all, which I'm not surprised because it's kind of messy and it wouldn't have been as easy. Um, did eat some of the, the um, cookies, left the, I ended up 
just throwing away a couple things. Um, so next time I'll probably grab things that are a little bit easier to eat. Um, I didn't get chocolate on purpose, and I'm glad I didn't because it would have been an issue. Um, first day was really cold, so I had to go back to my car and get a sweater. Um, then I think it was my second day. I actually ended up bringing... No, third day. Third day. Actually, I ended up bringing my little footstool here. It's a super lightweight, easy peasy. I'll bring that again because that was helpful. I brought some socks. I was able to take my shoes off and use socks. Had a blanket in my car that I brought with me. Um, generally pretty chill. Again, one of the great things about being able to be at home, like go home, is I can just get whatever I want. Um, I think that's everything I brought. And the only significant change I would have made, again, is just the lighting. Because my eyes were, were killing me by the end of it. Um, we'll start with stuff that I bought and then move into stuff that was given to me. Because I feel like that makes more sense. Um, I'm going to have to look up these stuff. I wonder if they're in... I'll have to look up the shops. Because I can remember some of the shops. I can't remember all the shops. Um... But these are from, and I've seen them um, all over the place, but these are uh, scissor fobs from Peaminders is the end of it. I only remember that because that's easy for me to remember. I'll put their full shop name. Um, super sweet. Uh, they were also stitching in this uh, table near us. This one says, don't be a salty bitch. And this one says, don't be a hip hippopotamus. Um, I thought these were hysterical. They had a lot of like fun, uh, subversive um, needle like needle minders and, and scissor fobs and all that kind of stuff and they also had some bags I need to look them up on Etsy and there's somewhere to see if I can buy one of their, their rolls I didn't end up buying it um, but two little scissor fobs from P minders I can't remember their actual name but I'll look it up for us um, I brought bought two I bought a lot of stuff from under the sea fabric so I'll show that all at once I bought this from Golden Familiar. I got to meet Renee over at Golden Familiar Familiars. Her YouTube will be linked as, as well as her um, website. Um, got my first like stitching case or stitch and go case, I think is what she calls them. I'm super excited. I haven't decided what's going to go in it yet. Um, maybe my uh, Mirabilia. My Mirabilia might go in this one just because it's a it, uh, involved. Or maybe I'll just leave this one open and this will just be whatever my, my thing I take with me is. But it's great. It has thread bed with a little needle slip here. Uh, yeah, I loved it. It's fantastic. Very cute. This is from Whip, Whip It? Whip It Up. There you go. Whip It Up. I couldn't resist. I wasn't really going to buy another bag because I have plenty of bags already. But it has dinosaurs. It has T-Rexes on it. And I couldn't help myself. So this is Whip It Up. A little project bag. I like it a lot. And then what I bought at um, Under the Sea Fabric. So I bought four of the... Where's the other one? just had it. Ah, here it is. Okay. I bought, bought four of the, like, um, I'm going lucky fabrics or like mystery fabrics. So I have a uh, fat eighth, I believe, of 32 count Anubis. Yeah, fat eighth. 32 count Anubis. 32 count, no, this is 28 count. This is 28 count. Kelpie Lugana. Yeah. This is 32 count Jovelin um, Beach Walk. And then 32 count Linen Brigand. So. Come on. Come back on so I can see it. Let me tweak it. Let's see. Um, so I got four of these little mystery linens or mystery um, fabrics, little uh, fat eights, Tisher's eights. Um, then I got two full fat halves of fabric. So I got a fat half of Boreas, Boreal, 
Boreas, right? Which is this beautiful, like, purpley gray linen. This is a 32 count linen, which is my favorite. Generally, I, I, I would prefer. And then I'm obsessed with this yellow. Um, yellow is one of my favorite colors, especially this, like, mustardy yellow. And this is Christmas at William, or Christmas in Williamsburg in 32 count linen. So I got two fat tabs of that because I figured there's something I can make do with both of those and I wanted to have them right um that's everything I bought I tried to not be too obscene about it but I was um I like fabric boy like fabric all right so things that were given to me um my one of my table mates had made pens and gave us little straws and then also had bought bought herself a little kit of week's linen but didn't think she was going to use an orange and i was like that's fine i can use an orange so i love this color i don't it's a, oh, an odd size but i'm sure i can find something and make it work like a uh, ornament or something like that but pretty probably 32 count maybe 36 count week's linen orange i don't know what the, the color was sonia gave us little little packs with you know stuff in them um this cute little it's summertime keychain this little moth keychain so lots of fun lots of stickers little pins some of these little like um tile things that are kind of helpful um so that's that and then just generally, I got quite a bit of just stickers and charms and stuff like that. Um, now we'll move on to everything I got in my mystery box. Mystery box. Actually, no, we won't. We will go on to what was given to me in the by the retreat. So I got a, uh, a bag with the retreat logo on it. I also have a shirt, but the shirt is in the wash. I don't have to wear a shirt without washing it first. I got this little stitch clip. Um, keychain, which is fun. I like it. I like it a lot. Got a skein of Night Stalker's Callings Poison. I got a skein of th Threadworks in 010346. I don't know if that's just the dye lot or if there's a color somewhere, but it's this really pretty, like, uh, dreamsicle orange Threadworks. I got this and a as I said, I thought there was a pattern. So I got this pattern by Maiden Marsh, as well as a little thread key or thread keep. This is all stuff that was part of like our, our stitching, like our Frost Fairy. I got this Lulu, Lulu Stitches pattern. I got this pattern by Nebby Needle. It's a freebie. Little Stitching Sirens Retreat pattern. So. I got a pattern by um, called Deadly Beauty, Deadly Beauty, Deadly Beauty by Meridian Designs, which is kind of just, there's not really a picture, so I won't show you, but it's a Biscornu, I believe. Looks like a Biscornu. Yeah, it's a Biscornu. With some, like, poisonous plants on it, which is my vibe. I do dig it. I got this um, Take Me Home pack. Uh, pattern by the Witch's Stitcher, which is fun. I like it. I like it a lot. I got this Bella, Fi Bella Filipina pattern, which is Black Mariposa. Black Mariposa. It's very pretty. I like it a lot. I got this pattern by Rosewood Manor. I got some five or fiber Forbidden Fiber Co. colors. This is uh, one of a kind 24 and 25. I got this pattern by Shakespeare's Pedler. I'm not going to try to say the name because I can't pronounce it. I tried already. It's not going to happen. I got this pattern and everything that you needed for this pattern. Um, it's one of two patterns by one of the shop uh, people who work at the shop named Amy Jane. Um, so I got toadstool, and then I have, there's a moth one as well that I'm going to grab from one of my table mates. She had an extra one. Or I'll just buy it at the shop next time at the shop, so no biggie. Either way, came with all kinds of just cool stuff that you needed. So, there's that. 
I don't know, I just pulled it out because I found it. I wanted to make sure that I didn't lose it again. Because I also got this cup with the with the um, Stitching Sirens logo on it. I just had it. Oh, there's the floor, which is not a good place for this to be. And they gave us these little flower pot straight pin pin cushions. Super cute. Super cute. Um, my smalls, so for the Wicked Garden themed small, I got this little, like, stitching pillow, which is super cute. I love. Mm. It was, it, it will not be upside down when I, I actually flip this, I think. Maybe, I hope. Anyway, this is Wicked, in case it is upside down or flipped. Um, comes with a little thread, like, a little needle bed. Cute. And then I got this good stay golden for the general one. Stay golden little um, framed hoop. Yep. There we go. Um, now from, I hope this is everything. I tried to keep it all together, but I didn't. For my mystery box, for when that was given to me, I was given this little golden toadstool notebook. This cute, it's basically a little frog, like, friend. I don't know, I don't think there's anything else he's supposed to do, but he's cute, so I, it doesn't matter. Right, he's got a little coffee cup and a book. He'll stay over here on my desk. I got, these are just stickers that I've collected, because I, again, lots of stickers. Um, I got this little mushroom needle minder. Two more of these guys, these little, um plastic floss cards which is good because I use them so I was kind of I was very excited for this to be the first thing I unwrapped I was like ha I actually use these I have a couple of them with me I got this pack of Rico Designs um, ice cream floss cotton floss um, never heard of Rico Designs I'm gonna have to do some research and see what's going on like what what's going on with that they're called stick darn sick but I'm probably pronounced oh that's probably just another name for another language for stranded cotton stranded cotton from rico designs they gave me this little scissor keeper scissor minder thing that you can wear so and i was actually kind of surprised i did not think that this was going to stay in my stay around but because i guess the weight of the scissors um it does i got this pattern so i actually got another pattern um, that was like Christmas, um, like ornaments almost, like kind of vintage Christmas ornaments. One of my uh, table mates preferred this, which is like a Krampus pattern. Here we go. Uh, by Primitive Hair. Um, I like it. I think it's cool. She also liked it. She did not like it. She just preferred, preferred what I had, which is fair. I have these little thread floss drops and then on a little thread keep yep. with a little owl it's very cute um two four six eight ten i feel like i'm missing something but i'm sure i'll find it another time um and be like crap i left it all in all had a load of fun um, loved it, loved it, loved it. Had a blast. Made friends with people who stitch here in San Antonio as well, which was nice. Um, and have a lot of cool stuff that I probably wouldn't have bought without, you know, it being given to me or, or being suggested to me. Um, if you have any questions about it, if you have any, any thoughts on what I should bring, next time I do a stitching retreat, I would definitely bring, um, less stuff. But only because it'll be better quality or better, more, more fit for purpose, if you want to say it that way. Um, that's everything I got for today, guys. Thank you so much for, for stopping by again. And talk to me, or holler if you need me. See you later. Bye!